All right, what's going on guys? How y'all doing well? So today's video, you've seen the title, got an unboxing video today. Got a big old box. Oh, some new stuff from LMAB. I'm pretty certain I know most of what's gonna be in here anyway, but I thought, you know, got a new box of stuff, might as well do an unboxing. Some new products in this. So I'll talk about those a little bit. And yeah, I'm kind of excited to get into it. It's uh, kind of annoying when I get a new box and I want to do an unboxing because like, I want to open them straight away. But I save them for you guys so you guys can see what I'm opening to. So yeah, get into this bad boy. Big old knife for this. And yeah, let's see what we've got. Like I say, there's some new products. I'm pretty sure I know most of what's going to be here. There might have been, might have chucked some other random stuff in. Um, but yeah, let's see. Not very good with this knife. Put her in. Trusty butcher's knife. Make sure I remember to pick it up later. And yeah, that's kind of what I was expecting to see to fair. But hopefully you can see what's in there. The main thing, I'll talk about in a little bit. We'll get straight to what's on top, which is something I kind of desperately need. And that is some new hoodies. Um Autumn season now, not got many fishing hoodies that actually fit me. Well, I'm pretty big and it's kind of hard to find clothes that fit, but yeah, got some new LMAB ones. 2XL, so these should fit. We'll see though, try one on now. Nice black hoodie, got the light black logo, but yeah, let's see, see if they fit. Okay, they are kind of tight. Like I said, I'm a pretty big dude. Um, six foot two and like, 250 pounds ish but yeah they fairly so that's the new hoodie i'm sure you guys don't really want to see a fashion show but that's sort of how it fits like i said i'm kind of large person pretty pretty chunky but yeah two xls what i wear i think you can get these a bit i think these are you can get these predator tackle not 100 sure but if you can there'll be a link in the description nice hoodies they're not too thick and they're not too thin so comfortable autumn wear, probably like a double O with a flannel or whatever. So yeah, two hoodies. Let's see what else we've got. So before we get into the main product, a couple of other little bits. The other hoodie I've got the nice Major League Fishing logo with the perch, awesome little logo, and big restock of something that I desperately need. Now it's big perch season, and that is a whole bunch of the tungsten range. Now when I go perch fishing, let's readjust this a little bit. When I go perch fishing, I'll fish near all the snags and I'll lose probably four, five, six lures like every perch session. So we've got a big restock of tungsten bullet weights. I'm a big fan of the Texas rig. So we've got a bunch of those, three grams, five grams, and seven grams, yeah. So we've got a lot of those. Damn, I've got quite a lot of those. So they should last me a week or two. Next, I've got a big restock of Tungsten jig head. These are size two. These are for like the seven centimeter Kofi perch. It's things like that. So we've got three grams, five grams. Size two, seven grams as well actually. Size ones, slightly bigger lures. Same sort of weights. So I don't really use more than three, more than seven grams. So that's all I tend to like get. Three gram, five gram, seven gram. I, I don't rarely use 14 grams. And if I do, I just use a Jika rig or something if I'm even fishing that heavy. Uh, yeah, I've got some size ones as well. Same weights. So, yeah, mainly the smaller you get are stocked up on. Size ones, size twos, and size one O. Oh. So, yeah, that's all the tungsten. And the main bulk of what we need to talk about in this video, which is the new product that, when I release this, will be out. Um, not sure when they're actually going to release in the UK, actually. But by the time this video is online, they will be available to buy. There'll be a link in the description. Now the new LMAB tackle boxes. I always, I, I, I've always had trouble finding tackle boxes. Like nowhere seems to have them in stock. So hopefully these will be in stock in a few places. Um, got a few sizes. I didn't get all the sizes. I think they're bringing out six sizes. I just asked for the sizes that I will actually use. So first size is going to be the big size for the pipe lures. Um, dividers in there. I won't be using those in the pipe lure box. Um, 
but yeah, as you see, same size as what I normally use for my fire clothes. Got the seal here, which stops like if it's raining or if you drop your box in the water or whatever, it stops water getting into the box. So yeah, fully waterproof boxes, nice smoke color. LMAB logo on there. Yeah, always need tackle boxes. So I've got two of this big size. Like I said, these are gonna be for my big pie clothes. I'd probably have one of this with like, sort of medium size layers, um, 14 centimeter, 18 centimeter, chat bait, stuff like that. And then the other one's gonna have my big layers in. So yeah, like I say, we've got two in this size. This is the biggest size. Big, big pie clothes boxes, you can fit, you know, 35 centimeter layers in there if you want. Like I say, the biggest I use are like 26. So two of those in each compartment sort of thing. Sorry, you don't really need to take more layers out than that. So they're the big boxes. Next, I've got same size, width and length, but not as deep boxes. I use one of these for my main perch box now. So open this up again. You've got the dividers in that you can put in wherever you want again. Um, I'll actually use these on the perch box to try and keep things separate. Probably keep things separate for like a week or two and then it'll just be like a complete mess like usual. But, yeah. <laughs> this, I try my best to keep them tied, I just don't work. Like I say, we've got the rubber seal on this again, like the uh, bigger ones. All the boxes have that rubber seal. Keeps everything tight, keeps everything secure. Stops moisture getting in and getting your rooks husty. Husty? Getting your hooks rusty, you do not want rusty hooks. And yeah, we've got two of those boxes as well. So two big ones, two medium ones, right there. And then we get into the smaller stuff. So I've got two in this size as well. This is the size that I use for my terminal tackle. So I'll divide all this up and I'll have jig head sections, hook sections, cheb weights, bullet weights, um, stop stuff like that. So we've got terminal perch, ta perch tackle in one of these. The other one in this size, I'll use as like a rig making bin. So I'll have swivels, um, split ring, crimps, bits of wire, stuff like that for making rigs, making harnesses for you know big soft baits and stuff like that. So terminal tackle one, rig making. This is sort of how I'll, I'll, I, I'm just like you know how I like to organize my boxes anyway. Um, so yeah, that's that size. And then finally, two double-sided ones. And these will be for hard baits. Double-sided, five sections on each side. So jerk baits, crank baits, stuff like that. More you perch size baits in these ones. These have got holes in as well to drain the water out so your hooks are not getting rusty. And uh, yeah, that is the last size. So I'm gonna throw a few baits in these show you sort of how I'll set my boxes up because you know a few people ask like what I take out of fishing so I might as well reload these boxes show you guys what I put in them how I organize them and yeah I will get back to you I guys finally got my boxes filled up took a lot longer than I expected um, yeah reorganizing boxes takes a while but I've sort of got them organized they're not like as full as they normally would be but yeah, I just thought I'd show you like how I will be laying my lures out. So I'm going to flip the camera around, show you how I've got the boxes laid out, what I've got in what box, and uh, yeah, hopefully it's insightful for you guys. All right, guys, so I've got all the boxes rigged up, laid out, and show you what I've got in them, how I've got them laid out. So we're going to start with the bigger boxes. These are going to be like my main pike lures. So I've got one. This is like the box I'll be using straight away for pike fishing basically. We've got the stuff I'll be using at the moment. The um, Drunk Dancers, Kofi Perch, got a spinner bait, a few jerk baits, um, Kofi Roach, stuff like that. Just standard pike fishing stuff. You know, stuff I use every single day. That'll change up between, you know, depending on the time of year, change the different size of lures. Depending on the venue, I'll put different lures in, put them out, but that's sort of how I have it laid out. It's a bit of a mess. Everything's just rammed in, but I don't need to take more lures than that. There's probably like 12 lures in there. So that's the main pike fishing box. Backup box for that. I tend to just have loose rigged baits without rigs on. Uh, that'll get filled up more obviously. That I don't take that out with me. I just keep loose baits that are not in the packets in there. Just so I know where they are. So if my other one of these gets wrecked, 
I can just grab this one out of the box and yeah, easy to find. So that's what that box is for. It's like a backup. If I'm out on a boat or something, I'll take both with me. Generally, if I'm bank fishing, I've just got a bag, I'll just take the big boy with me. Next, another pipe box. I, I was not sure what I was gonna do with this one, but I made it into a small pipe layer box. So I've got like my 14 centimeter roach, 14 centimeter perch, 15 centimeter drunk dancers, stuff like that. Um, random top water layer there. I probably, through somewhere again, this will probably change out. It'll probably be like a top water box or I'll get another one of these specifically just for top water layers. But that's what it's like now. I can put that in a bag easily with my big box like this, side by side. And then I've got big layers and small layers. So yeah, that's probably what I will take out just those two boxes if I'm pipe fishing. Next one's the perch box. Again, it's quite sparse at the minute. I've not put all the baits in that I've got. But you can see how it's laid out. You know, I've got different, these are my TPE sections. You've got to keep your TPE layers separate from your other ones because they will melt. And yeah, you know, finesse fillets. Nine centimeter roach, uh, perch, nine centimeter perch, uh, seven centimeter perch, seven centimeter roach, bleaks, some bigger size baits like the 12 centimeter drunk baits, stuff like that. And then three sections with the smaller lures. So that's how that's laid out, just with the lures. Obviously, if I had baits that already had jig heads on, they, they stay on, they're not loose, but everything else is sort of loose bodied in there. Then to go with that, I always take two boxes when I perch fishing. Got my turn off tackle box as well. I don't to tip this one too much, but this is where I keep all my jig heads, all my tungsten, got some jigs in there, all my hooks. Try keeping the packets if they're not in the packets. Uh, I've got a little section there, but yeah, jig heads, um, jig weights, a few snaps in there, chebs, and then bullet weights in there. That's all I read. Got a little wire leader as well, but yeah, everything I need really purchasing. So if I'm going out for fishing, generally just take those two boxes with me unless we're going to be throwing hard baits which is how what these ones have in so this one I'll try to show you without opening it too far that's just jerk baits crank baits same on the other side got big ones small ones got a top water there the uh head banger well yeah basically just jerk baits crank baits in there the other one of those got a side with chat baits uh, Molly Vibe chat base on that side and then we've got more jerks and cranks on the other side of that and then like I said this last box I've not actually done this one because I couldn't bother but that's just going to be rig making so swivel split rings stuff like that so guys there we go quick little video talking about the new boxes a little bit of an unboxing showing you how I've got the boxes rigged well filled up so this is how I generally do it like it's not the tidiest it's not the best way of doing it but it's like I find it easy. Everything's gonna to get totally messed up after like two or three sessions anyway. So yeah, it doesn't matter too much for me having it super organized, but yeah, there will be more stuff going in these. This is just what I've got out of my other boxes. I've got a big mess around me that I need to tidy up now. So we're gonna wrap this video up here. So yeah, if you're interested in these, link will be in the description, make sure you check them out. And yeah, I've got a lot of jiggers to get through now. I've got some nice hoodies for autumn and yeah, sweet. So you'll see some more of these tackle boxes in the fishing videos. That's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. A little bit different. Um, I like doing unboxing videos to be fair. So yeah, I enjoyed filming it. And uh, yeah, not much else to say. So catch you guys next time.